Pike Lane in Whitby has a story that is both horrific and incredibly sad. And it's about this young girl who was sent down here on an errand by her father to a baker's shop. I can identify with her because when I was a child, sometimes my mother used to send me to the bakers down the road from where we lived, just with a few things to get. And she'd say, and get a bit of some at night. And that was something that I could choose for all of us in the family. But whatever I chose, it would be okay. What would it be? You know, maybe a custard tart, some Eccles cakes. And I used to feel thrilled to, to be trusted. And I'm thinking that little girl, when she came down here on that day, she probably felt thrilled to be trusted. And then when she got to the baker's shop, she was trusted again. Because the baker asked her, would she like to have a go at putting something into the hot oven herself to learn how to do something new? Wonder what it was, a loaf of bread, <clears throat> maybe a pie. Maybe it could have been um, something that she brought herself, a meal to, to have warmed up, because that's what people used to do <clears throat> if they didn't have their own oven at home. They used to take it to the baker's and pay the baker to use his oven. Well, maybe she was too excited and she acted too soon before he could show her how to do it safely. Who knows? But before he realised she leant towards the hot oven too far and her long hair caught on fire. On fire. She was in flames. Imagine how terrified she must have felt. And what about the baker? Realising that he had to act quickly and get a cloth and beat out the flames on this little girl. But what's the first instinct in a panic, especially for a child, to start running around? And where's the very worst place to go when you're on fire? Outside, onto this lane. It just feeds oxygen to the flames. And it makes the situation much, 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 much worse, which it did for that little girl. Poor little thing. And her injuries were so severe, she didn't survive. I wonder if that terror that she felt was so powerful that even to this day, people say that they see her on this lane in flames. And they say that you can also smell the odour of burning hair. Oh. If you like ghost stories, check out the Facebook page of Ghost Keeper of York because he's got some brilliant ones. Or look at the website www.ghostkeeper.co.uk I think I'd better go before I start imagining things.